All right, uh, I was going to do either some more DMC Musou. It seems like people like that video I put up yesterday. <laughs> I was either going to do that or some Tales of the Rays or something or test out more emulation on the phone. Uh, I decided that this was, was more useful. Uh, this is going to involve, um, you know, future games that I'll probably be playing. I'm sure there's going to be at least one game out of this that I'll enjoy playing. Uh, I already explained this in my, my little announcement video a couple days ago, but... Uh, Inti Creates is going to be there. I'm looking for Gunvolt 3. Koei Tecmo is going to be there. Um, possibility for Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires. Uh, maybe some Samurai Warriors 5 gameplay. Uh, if you watch the promotional stuff for that, you know that they showed like literally like five seconds of gameplay. Uh, it's kind of got Tales of Arise syndrome right now. Obviously, not as bad as Tales of Arise because, you know, the game's coming out in three months, so it's not gonna, they're not gonna have that much time to kind of twiddle their thumbs around and not talk about the gameplay. Uh, Natsume is gonna have, probably show something about the Pocky and Rocky reboot. Uh, that is another game I actually did grow up with, uh, much like the Ninja Warriors. Uh, not as special to me as the Ninja Warriors. I, I definitely, I actually did not own Pocky and Rocky. I actually owned uh, Ninja Warriors as a kid. I believe my grandpa bought it for me, and he he passed away about two years ago, so it, it, me, it means more to me now. Uh, this America might have some stuff about East 9 on PC as well, and then Arxis is going to be there. So this will be starting at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, I'm going to make sure that I get sleep tonight. That way I can be up for this. I'll probably be on a little bit beforehand, uh, or probably just play some random games, and then uh, I'll just switch scenes over to this. If you guys are interested in the future of the channel... Um, Obviously, you know, AAA stuff has been announced, but niche stuff like, you know, the 95% of the stuff that I play, <laughs> you know, I, I, I did dabble in stuff like Avengers, but Avengers basically ended up being a niche game anyway, because no one plays it. Uh, if you're interested in any of that, you want to come watch it with my community, uh, you can go ahead and let me know. I go ahead and show up, and uh, I'll probably do a video uh, updated about the things that I'll be covering uh, after this. There are some decent chances for Shadow Drops. Uh, Inti Creates is probably the most likely to have a Shadow Drop. Um, they might just go ahead and Shadow Drop Gunvolt 3. Uh, I don't really know what else they could really have <laughs> that they would be uh, releasing anytime soon. Unless they've been working on some secret projects. I think they did mention like last year that they had some unannounced projects. I think one of them ended up being Curse of the Moon 2. And I think one of them was Gunvolt 3. Uh, either way, I, I really like their games. I think their last few games have been pretty good. Uh, I really liked Dragon Mark for Death. Dragon Mark for Death just had the problem of uh, drip feeding content. By the time they added the the two new characters, like almost a year had passed, and the game was completely a Discord fighter by that point. Uh, you know, luckily it's a lot like Monster Hunter. It's not like uh, you need a consistent player base. You know, you can play that game with like just three friends and get through all the content just fine. Uh, Hoping to have some more more good platformers. Uh, I really liked Luminous Avenger X. Uh, I haven't really gotten around to Blaster Master Zero Two yet. Uh, I need to check that out. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna keep this short. I basically talked about all this. It's kind of a little bit redundant. I, I talked about all this uh, at length a couple of days ago. Uh, I'll be on tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will probably be on a little bit earlier. Um, it's a big chance for some boring stuff in here. I mean, there's probably gonna be some visual novels and like. Uh, just just random stuff that most of us aren't going to be interested in, but uh, there's enough publishers here with games that I'm interested in that I believe it's worth watching. Um, I don't know when Koei is supposed to be. Uh, I might just peace out after Koei. This is the schedule that they have right now. Uh, they don't show anything about Koei Tecmo, but Inti Creates is pretty much right at the beginning, so uh, I'm going to be interested in that. I'll probably stick around until Nis America and probably peace out around then. Uh, I don't think it's worth streaming the whole thing. I think you guys can, can go watch it yourself if you're interested at that point. But yeah, that's what's going to be going on. I will catch you guys tomorrow.